Hello and welcome back to my cheat engine tutorial series. Today I'm going to show you how to create a multi jump hack and a fly hack uh, using step three of the cheat engine tutorial game. Uh, now obviously the difference between a fly hack and a jump hack um, is a multi jump hack will just allow you to keep jumping in the air where a fly hack will essentially just lift you off the ground continuously without losing any gravity. Uh, so uh, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, first, I'll show you how to do the fly hack. Uh, now, most games work this way. Um, depending on how the game is developed, the flag is either set, can the player jump, or is the player jumping? All right, so as it stands, uh, in this game, I'll just go ahead and give it to you. It's, is the player jumping? Zero meaning no, one meaning yes. All right, so right now I'm standing on the ground. I'm going to do a scan on four bytes for zero, and then I'm going to jump in the air, and I'm going to change that value to one, which means, yes, I am jumping. All right, now I'll unpause and pause this again real quick just to show I'm still jumping. And essentially we repeat this process. So now we're back to zero, and I want to make sure that I pause the game while I'm still standing on the ground because one could mean paused and zero mean unpaused as well. All right, so I will go through this process real quick and see if we can narrow down this address. So as we're jumping, we're going to set the value to one, and we're already down to two values. Let's go ahead and unpause, and we're back down to zero. And now we can see we have our flag here. So what I want to do is right click and find out what writes to this. Now we can see that we're constantly being compared, or I'm sorry, constantly moving the zero uh, into the offset of 7C in the RBX registry. And see what happens whenever I actually jump. We can see that value changes to one, but it's constantly changing back to zero. So this isn't necessarily good coding. Um, there should be another trigger in here after it's set to one that sets it back to zero. So this is kind of wasting instructions here, but that's okay. So right now I want to go into the disassembler and replace this with a code that does nothing and just see what happens. And as long as I'm holding up, you can see I continuously go up I have found my fly hack. All right, so something that's kind of strange with this particular game though, let me restore this with the original code. And we're gonna open up the auto assembler and turn this into a script using an array of bytes injection. And essentially all I'm doing is I am commenting out that move and assigning it to the cheat engine table. And we can close this for now. Whenever I enable this, it shuts my game down. It doesn't shut it down, it just freezes it, unless I'm flying. Um, I can only imagine how quickly it would take to disconnect you from an online game doing this, right? Uh, so obviously there's something wrong, and I'll tell you what that is. So let me undo that, and I'll delete my script. We are the first step after a jump if equal. Okay, so what we need to do is include that as well. So we're going to start our script here instead. So now if I do an array of bytes injection, we've got the jump and then we've got um, our move right here. So I'm going to knock that out, reassign it to the cheat engine table, and let me enable that. And you can see we're still moving and I've still got my fly hack. So we'll call this step three fly hack. And I'm going to create a hotkey for that. And I'll just set that hotkey as the number one. So now I can turn my fly hack on and off as I want to. All right. So now let's see if we can find the multi jump hack. All right. So this time, instead of finding what writes to that address, we're gonna find out what accesses that address. All right, so currently we have this compare down here. All right, we're comparing zero to the offset stored in uh, RBX 7D. Whenever I jump, we can see these instructions here happen. Now, this is obviously a movement. Um, 
this only happened one time and I only hit the button one time so this is kind of what I'm curious of let's go and show the disassembler on this and holy moly what a structure um, let's just go ahead and knock out that particular code and see what happens now I can jump multiple times but you notice I'm not just going straight up like I was before I'm losing a little bit of gravity each time I jump and that's because if I was to just hold down a key on the keyboard there's a pause and then it repeats right so depending on how long that pause is on your particular keyboard configuration uh, you may lose more gravity than uh, somebody else all right so let me go ahead and restore that with the original code and um, I'm in a jump but I'm not in a conditional jump at least not yet there's one below me so on this one I should be saved just to do a standard script so let's do an array of bytes injection and simple enough let's just comment this out assign it to the current table we'll check it and see if it works it does work uncheck it and there we go so we'll call this step three multi jump and I'll go ahead and set this hotkey to two whoops just two and hit apply alright so now I can turn my multi jump on and off I can turn my fly hack on and off what happens if I turn them both on well they do their thing so thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you here on the next one.